Hi, if you're like me, you love cereal. Eat it almost every morning, maybe every morning, except for when you go out for restaurants. And if you're also like me, you probably find yourself mixing cereals, which is why I had these two cereals up front. We have the Malto Mill version of Golden Grams, Honey Graham Squares. And we also have Chocolate Marshmallow Mateys, the chocolate version. And the reason I have these two out is for s'mores. You have your graham cracker, and you have your chocolate, and your marshmallows. And before uh, the chocolate marshmallow maize came out, I just used marshmallow maize and then uh, cocoa roux. But now that they're in the same bag, I only need two bags instead of three. And if you prefer to use the name brand, I think uh, Lucky Charms also has a chocolate version, just like this one. So you can get that, or you can buy Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, and Golden Grams and mix them together. And I also am aware that uh, Post or General Mills, I forget which one, has a s'mores cereal. I tried it once and I honestly think that my mixture is way better. Because um, the actual s'mores cereal doesn't even have a graham cracker in it, like Golden Grams. Um, it's just kind of surprising me. Uh, the marshmallows are great. Um, I could honestly say that the marshmallows in that one are better than colored marshmallows because who puts colored marshmallows in there? Um, s'mores, not very many. I can actually get on a topic about that. I'll touch on that a little bit later. Anyway, um, what I recommend you trying is you put about 50-50, uh, something to start out with for uh, tasting. Um, more or less, if you're gonna have more than 50% of one, I would suspect you would have um, more of the graham crackers as their flavor is not quite as strong as the uh, marshmallow and chocolate. Um, so, mix them together. Put a little bit more of this one on here too. And if you want, you can uh, stir it up. So it should look something like that. So let's add some milk to it, shall we? Give it a try. I haven't ever tried warming this up, but that's something else you could try doing. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I'm keen for warming up cold cereals that are meant to be cold. And then uh, enjoy. Mm-hmm. And anyway, another thing I was going to mention about s'mores, when I mentioned the colored marshmallows, is that Peeps, the traditional sugar-coated marshmallow chick-shaped treats that come out during Easter. Also, uh, they're pretty much available all year and also uh, different holidays have them for their specific holidays and different forms, pumpkins, whatever, for Halloween and such. Roasted marshmallow peeps. The sugar coating is just excellent after it's been roasted in the fire. It kind of caramelizes and becomes kind of a more of a candy, uh, depending on how you roast it in the fire, maybe kind of a burnt sugar taste if that's kind of how you like it. Um, but yeah, I definitely strongly suggest getting some peeps, taking them out on your next uh, fireside, camping trip, whatever, and try those out. More just to roast the peep by itself, not so much to make a s'more out of it. It's interesting as a s'more, but just keep the s'mores traditional. That's the best. So, yeah. I hope you find this mixture of cereals to be just as enjoyable as I found it, and that it tastes a lot more like uh, s'mores than any other thing out there for cereals. For cereals. Yeah. Anyway. If you find it just as good, let me know. If you don't, let me know also. And if you have any other uh, mixtures of cereals that you find are great, put that down in the comment, comment, <laughs> comment section as well.
comment about whether you tried the uh, fire roasted uh, peeps yet. How you thought of those? That good. So have a good day. Enjoy your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, whatever meal you're eating your cereal for.